It's 8 o'clock in the morning, it's almost 34 degrees Celsius and Dash GP doing a little dry dance to ensure the rain stays away because that could be the only dampener in what's about to unfold. We are at MMSC to attend the very first session of RACR which is Rajni's Academy of Competitive Racing. And when you have India's fastest and most accomplished road racer and the technical expertise of Andrew Stone who has been the chief technician of uh, Mahi Racing, it's serious business which is why we are going for a two-throng approach. On one end, you have GP, who is an absolute track newbie, who has never been on the track, who has never attended riding schools. And that's why we are here to see how well he fares at the school. And to make sure that he gets to a flying start, we have just the bike for him. Ah, uh, no, that's not your bike, that's my bike. What you're gonna be riding is this. KTM RC200 because we feel learning the art of cornering on a small bike is the ideal way forward and of course this is as good as it gets as far as the learner's tool is concerned to do track riding. I will be on the other end, I'll represent riders who have been on the track before, who have raced before and who have attended other riding schools and I'm here to see how much we can take back with us, how much more we can improve. So it's gonna be a brilliant two days and I cannot wait. Back when Amit Sandal and I set up the Mahi um, team. The race school was always on the, on the list of the long-term goals to do, um, because obviously the opportunities in India are, uh, are massive. To have possibly the finest rider that this country has produced to give back to the sport. Rajni's career has shown that, that he has the ability to have gone on. The problem was that he's hit a stumbling block, and hopefully the race school, which is he's set up, is going to get over that stumbling block and to allow people a bigger opportunity. Pro rider come our school, maybe is improve timing ways and uh, his knowledge ways, the braking control, everything. But uh, the basic rider, I want to improve like uh, maybe how to control the bikes, how to ride in the track and how to ride in the road. So I just got done with my first briefing and our instructor taught us a few drills on how to ride a motorcycle on the track for the very first time. Like, holding the handlebars loose, ripping the tank, which will only help me steer the bike a lot better. Looks like our boy GP has come back from his very first lap on the racetrack. So how different was it to ride here on the racetrack as compared to riding on the road? I know you have been riding on the road on your Duke 394 for 3 years. Well, it was exciting and intimidating at the same time. I was really happy that I had the whole width and length of the track to myself. There was no oncoming traffic. <laughs> I know that you were being led by a coach, so that pace was low. So do you think that helped you learn and understand the flow of the track better? I guess I know a couple of corners now. <laughs> well, a couple of laps more, I'll be knowing the track a lot better and well, that will help me. I think this is a very important point because we keep harping on the racetrack. Well, what he mentioned is so true. So you can focus all your attention to just the task at hand, which is just you, your motorcycle and the road ahead. The first school is always the hardest one and then you can feed back and build. But there's some fast riders out here for sure. You know, there's no reason why you can't go on. Many riders have like four bikes, but uh, he doesn't know how to ride in the road also, maybe in the track also. I want to like teach in the basic level how to ride in the track, how to safety you ride in the road. When he first came to me, he said that I was being very aggressive with the throttle. And on a big bike, how it's all about being very patient. You have to wait, you have to wait till the point where you know for a fact that once you get on the gas, you have it cracked open for a long time because that's where you make most of your time and uh, get even better lap timing. This was the very first time I rode the return on the track. I managed to clock timing of 1 minute 55 seconds on this beautiful, beautiful machine. But I wouldn't have been able to do that without Rajni's help. I worked with Rajni in the Asian GPs in 2009. He likes funding, you know, no question about it. <clears throat> He's what, 36 years old now? He's leading the, the Malaysian Championship. He's struggling to get out to Malaysia to continue to win that championship just through funding. You know, the guy needs an opportunity. You know, and it's very sad that, that the country's not behind him doing this. I think he's a great ambassador of the sport. He's done all this on his own back. You know, and he's working very hard to give somebody a better way forward than what he had himself. So, uh... 
Day one has been pretty good and um, tomorrow I hope uh, that important session which we'll be doing on suspension will help me go that much quicker. Let's see how it goes. But primarily you set a motorcycle up for that rider and that's where the suspension comes in. So how he rides is what I do to make that bike work for him. Some people like a very soft front end, some people like a very hard front end, some people don't use a back brake, some people do. So the balance of the bike comes from the suspension. And that's my job, is to make that bike tailor-made around that particular rider. I just came back from my very first session today. Andrew had worked on the suspension a little bit and that obviously worked like a miracle. I mean, C1, everyone knows, is really, really bumpy. And whatever suspension clicks have made a world of difference. And it's also given me a lot of confidence to brake. Another thing which he mentioned, which was very interesting is, I hardly ever use my rear brake. And he said that that's very, very important because every single time I did use my rear brake, it kept the bike so much more uh, in line with the front wheel. Wasn't hopping around, wasn't squirming around that much. I mean, such small differences can boost your braking confidence to such a huge level. So I just came back in from my second session and uh, well I know the track a lot better than before. I also had a one-on-one -on -one session with my instructor and he told me that my lines could improve. I was taking the outer line too much. So I'm about to set off for my third session and well I hope I improve. One is teaching somebody to ride a motorcycle very fast and then there's the race craft and the race brain, knowing when to take the edge, knowing when to turn around and accept second place. So that brings us to the end of two glorious days here on the racetrack and uh, look at this guy. <laughs> he can't stop smiling. So I'm going to let him take the lead. So GP, how was it for you? Well, day two was a lot better than day one, I would say. For the sole reason being, I know the track a lot better now. On day two, I saw them giving you a lot more drills. Give those up. Yes, I had Rajni right in front of me, showing me the lines, how to begin with. A lot of personal attention and when we came back into the pits, he also explained me what I was doing wrong. There's a whole school of all of that the European riders have from a very, very young age. We all know the problem then, we're going to come up against this funding for this, funding for that. But I, I can't see why the government can't get behind this scheme, back it properly and give the people of India the opportunity. You have a lot of skilled people here. Future, I want to do uh, maybe full all India, maybe in booth circuit like uh, Coimbatore, maybe Chennai. I want a minimum per year, my like our eight, seven schools. I think everything go good. I'll do even abroad also. It's been a really nice academy, a really nice learning experience for him and for me as well. I mean, just having someone as good as Rajni and Andrew Stone sharing their experiences with you, with Rajni walking you through the entire track, showing you the lines, showing you exactly, telling you exactly where you're going wrong. It was a big boost. It's not perfect. I think uh, they definitely need a more structured syllabus to make it easier for new guys. So it's not as overwhelming, but they're already Next. working. Day two was much, much, much better. much better. So that's it, guys. That's about all from our end. If you want any more information about Rajni's Academy, you can go to his website and uh, you'll know when the next session is so that you can enroll. Until then, ciao.